morning, and welcome to Kentucky. Uh, welcome back to Ohio Record Tech. Today, we are on our way to look at a new boat. So, I have a history of doing a lot of bass fishing and hunting, and uh, this is a new adventure for the channel. I've been kind of out of the fishing game for a while. Sorry for that sun there. But uh, we've got uh, a long stretch of road here. I've got about another 100 miles to go. And Kentucky is not our final destination. Uh, we are actually headed to Clarksville, Indiana, where there is a Bass Cat dealership. And one of their uh, staff pros has uh, so graciously invited us out to look at a brand new, uh, I think it's a, well, actually, this is a 2020 era era however you want to say that and it uh i've narrowed my search down on the boat thing pretty much to two or three boats so one of the first picks that i was looking at was a 21 foot bullet 21 xrs uh, with a 250 merc maybe 250 yamaha um and or a 21 foot allison uh, again all these are running 250s and uh, the Bass Cat era. I'm not a, I'm not a wide boat fan. Uh, coming from a champion, fished out of some bullets, uh, a lot of champions. Fished out a few Rangers, fished out of some older Bass Cats, but uh, Bass Cats up there in quality. And uh, they always have been. And so we are rolling through the hills of Kentucky right now, uh, just outside of Louisville, working our way over to Clarksville, Indiana. And uh, I didn't want to hit you guys up too early. I've been up since five. I didn't want to hit you guys up too early and then like wake you all up. So I figured I'd wait till like 7.30ish or something like that. Um, but all jokes aside, uh, this is something that I've uh, been trying to get back to for a while. Uh, life, family, you know, things like that come first. But uh, opportunities are opening up now and I think that uh, this is going to be a new chapter for not only me, but the channel. and. Uh, hopefully a lot of good content and for the guys out there who like the outdoors um man it's gonna be great you gotta check this out though this is awesome So folks, here's the boat. It is gorgeous. Uh, the colors pop. The glass is great looking. Um, the gel coat, uh, the metal flake is just outstanding. Everything about this boat in the sun is just eye-catching and it is a beautifully put together boat. The one detraction I notice about the boat right away is the wheels. The little bass logos I find to be a little bit overplayed versus just going with a standard aftermarket wheel. Overall, the boat presents itself extremely well. It's well made, everything is where it should be, and there's no cheap plastic parts anywhere to be found. All right, so we're following Steve to the lake, well, to the river, I should say. This thing is a beautiful boat. So I believe it's a 2019 or 2020 era. Um, absolutely gorgeous, black, red, it's got uh, a lot of silver flake in it, like a gunmetal. So, super awesome colors. Totally unbelievable cool. The trailer fit and finish is excellent. However, the two inch tube steel uh, bow roller and winch stand assembly look like they could use some extra gusseting. It would seem to me that repeated bumps by the boat when loading would eventually crack those welds. 
Trailer fit and finish are excellent. Brakes on one axle. Torsion axles to boot, which is unique in the bass boat world. And double carpeted padded bunks with plenty of support for the hull. I only took a little bit of footage running the boat. Uh, it's hard to run the boat and film with uh, the amount of wind noise we had and really capture the overall performance of the boat. But the boat did perform very well. I think with a four blade prop, it probably would have got out of the hole a little bit quicker. At the transom, you'll find eight foot power pole blades and a Bob's hydraulic jack plate and even a motor leash. All high quality stuff. The Mercury 250 Pro XS with a three blade prop pushed the boat right to 78 mile an hour with two people in it. For electronics, we have two Hummingbird Helix 12s, one at the dash and one at the bow, along with a Minn Kota Altrex trolling motor. Basscat is the Cadillac of bass boats with internal fans that uh, can dry the hull, um, alarm systems that are available. Um, everything is very well thought out on these boats. So the same thinking that leads to a well thought out boat seems to lead to a lot of storage compartments that are kind of limited in their space and seem very dedicated to certain size items. And this may not appeal to people who prefer a traditional box layout uh, where you can kind of decide how you want to organize your stuff. So while I like the coffin style lids and the layout of the boat is pretty uh, unique, I don't like the latches on the boat. I do know those get very hot and I do not like the bullet style hinges on the rear lids that allow you to take the lids off. Um, they hurt when you stand on them. Overall, the boat's fantastic. Fit, finish, compartments, quality of build, um, to, besides a few nitpicky things on the trailer and the little bass logos, it turns well, it's fast, it handles rough water well. Uh, trailer is great. So overall, the boat presents itself as a very high quality boat. So how did the era fare? Well, it's not the boat we ended up with. Uh, at the end of the day, it just came down to the look of the boat was great. I love the way it rode. I love the way it drove. But we got into a thing where the storage became the boat's biggest downfall. It's not terrible. Um, I'm looking for a boat that's actually 20 foot. It comes really close. Um, but at the same time, for a boat of its size, my 19 foot three champion I used to have just had more storage. And I think that's what a lot of people struggle with on the air is it's a great boat. It's a fast boat. It rides great. But those storage compartments are something that are just a little bit, um, they're just a little bit lacking. They're a little confined. For the size of the boat, I find the boxes on the boat a little bit on the small side. So thanks for watching. Stick around and uh, we'll get to the boat we picked here very soon.